Hey, it's Jolly Ackerman. Hope you're doing well. And today, back with some more Minecraft. And today, I mostly just want to be focusing on finishing the interior of this Minecraft Dungeons house. And then maybe if we have time, I don't know, uh, maybe I'll go into the nether or something, but probably not because I gotta go mining and that usually takes forever. Um, but I just need to get some more spruce and I probably need to find some sheep because there's carpet and whatnot. So let me go gather some materials and then hopefully we can get cracking on the inside of this. That's one deep cave. Oh, look what I found. Holy cow, there's so many of them. Oh, they have the blue one. Yes. Yoink. Yes, let's go. I don't have a bucket of water anymore. But this was worth it. Heck yeah. And I found some iron, so this is just a... This cave is sweet, even though my pickaxe is about to die, which is not sweet. And there it goes. Okay, luckily I have the stuff to make another. Ooh. No, no, no. All right, so I've started a little bit of work. I got down kind of close to the carpet that's in it. I'll throw a picture of what the carpet actually looks like. Obviously, I can't really do that unless the carpet was like like the entire floor or something. So I think this looks pretty good. And then I just finished the upstairs. We got all these planks down and I'll probably add another stone brick right there just to make it look better. And so yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to try to add the fireplace and stuff next. And then I need to finish this part out over here. And then we should be getting pretty close to the inside of it. And then I can go mining and try to get some redstone lamps for those. But yeah, let's try to finish this bottom part up and then we can start working on the top. All right, so I've been working on this house and as you can see, a bit has changed. So constructing this fireplace was harder than I thought and I needed to actually push it back a couple of blocks because I had to get the table in and with like, I either had to make the table really short and the fireplace really short or I just had to push it back a few blocks. And so that's what I did. I pushed it back about like seven blocks ish and you know what it's not looking too bad the outside is all roofed up and stuff i still need to fix the walls and stuff and like that it looks a bit bad on the outside right now but you know what it's looking pretty good i moved the chimney back so it's closer to the actual place of the fireplace but i'm gonna put some bookshelves here and then i'm gonna move the staircase back and redo the top and then yeah i think it'll look pretty good um and i now have the fireplace exactly proportional so this is what it looks like if you want to pause the video and maybe count the blocks if you're trying to replicate it then um that, that's what you need to do it's pretty simple if you're curious it's seven wide in total if that helps and yeah i'm just gonna fix a couple things up and then we will continue also i'm really sad that these chiseled bookshelves bookshelves i made them out of spruce but like they don't change colors or anything, which is really sad. So that's unfortunate, but they still look really nice. Alrighty, so I finished off this bottom area at least as much as I can for right now. So we got the little fireplace. This thing is probably the best looking part down here and the most accurate in my opinion. And then we got the table, uh, don't ask why the table or the chairs are going straight into the table legs, but you know what? It's the best I could do, so that's our table. It'll have candles on it and maybe a cake on it eventually, but that's, especially the candles, is later in the future. And then we got the bookshelves. I'll eventually put books in there. I'm growing some sugar cane right there to get some nice books. And then, yeah, this bottom part will basically be done. I'll probably get a pot because if you look in the in the actual photo, there is a like a little pot with a plant in it. So I'll probably do that in the future. And we got our windows and stuff. Not the greatest placement, but you know what? You do what you can. 
And then I got the upstairs, which is next. So I'm going to do this upstairs part. There's not a lot up here. And to be honest, it's not very functional upstairs. So I'll probably change it a little bit and make it more functional. Because right now, the upstairs of the house is mostly just paintings. So the upstairs is just more paintings and another fireplace, which is shocking. And for some reason, this one's over here, which I guess will be fine because I got the, the cobble leaking through. So I can just do something with that and that'll actually look pretty good. And then... Yeah, like I said, it's mostly just paintings, so I'll probably add, like, the little rim thing that goes around. Probably, I won't really be able to add any of the spruce logs, because it has, like, spruce logs going up, looking like supports. So, I'll probably just do what I can, do the anvil, do the fireplace, and then I'll probably just add my own bed and stuff like that. And do a nice, nice another carpet pattern, and, uh make this place look nice and cozy and then i don't know what i'm going to do with this area over here i'm thinking it'll probably just be storage i'll probably just put chests over there and some furnaces and stuff like that and uh yeah let's get started on the upstairs and then we'll worry about that later all right so i think i finally basically finished the minecraft dungeons house so for the door this is what i had to do because in the game it's just like a glowing void and of course that's not really possible so i kind of just had to do a normal door but when you walk inside boom it is looking pretty snazzy i couldn't get candles so i just put a cake on the table for now with a little bamboo add a little nice plant tree thing got the the fire going i wish i would have would have something to put here maybe i'll put some like item frames with some steak in it or something cool and then books are super, super hard to get. So um, these bookshelves are empty for right now. I hope to put books in them soon. Then I got a nice decorated pot here with a little jungle sapling. And then I got the little like storage area. So I just got some chests and then some furnaces and stuff. Nothing too crazy. I might change it up. But then we got the upstairs, which I really like. We got the paintings. We got the little bonsai tree type thing. We got the nice fireplace cooking up something real nice. This looks sick. I love the look of this. We got the carpet, more paintings. We got the bookshelves, which will also be filled in with books eventually. And then we got the beds. So honestly, I really like the upstairs. Of course, it's not perfectly accurate, but kind of knew that it wouldn't be because it would kind of be impossible for it to be unless it was just like completely disconnected from the house and whatnot anyway um i like the look of this i really i i actually really like how this build turned out um of course i need to get redstone lamps right there though i do kind of like the look of windows if i'm being honest but redstone lamps would make it more accurate but i didn't really have time to go mining otherwise there would also be like an anvil right here because that would also make it more accurate but for right now this is all we have time for today and to be honest i love I, lo I love it i love the way this turned out and i hope if you guys followed along um and wanted to also make something like this then i hope you guys also like how it turned out because to be honest this was a super fun build and i liked it a lot all right so i just added some item frames real quick because i thought it would make it look nice and i wish i could hide the item frames because it'd make it look cool but i had some steak i added like an axe because, you know, you got to chop things up, add the flint and steel to, like, start the fire or something. Bucket of water, maybe you want to boil something, and then I got some food there that needs to be cooked. So, to be honest, I really like the look of this, and I might actually, like, move this over to, like, right here. Maybe it looks like it's getting cooked a little bit more than the bucket right there. So, that's looking pretty nice. And, yeah, I like, I'm, I'm liking the look of this build. But sadly, that will have to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you like and like the video, new videos every Thursday. And remember to stay jolly.